And you wrote a piece on July 7th, is Black Lives Matter Marxist? No and yes. And, and I think that's, um, and again, this could, this could be a, a sort of teachable way to explain people how to view um, uh, teachers unions and how to view tribes and all that. And, and you, you, you draw a bright distinction between a few young Marxists who started Black Lives Matter and the people in the streets demanding um, more accountability for right. our justice system. So, I mean, I'm, I come from Massachusetts, which is almost as deep a blue a state as you can get. So it's interesting. My Twitter is, is professional, right? It's journalists, it's conservatives, it's policy people. So that's kind of a right wing bubble in a way. But my Facebook feed, my personal Facebook feed is mostly people I know I went to high school with. I went to college with from UMass. Very liberal leaning, very blue. And you almost see them completely talking past each other on issues such as Black Lives Matter because of, because of this gap. So liberals view Black Lives Matter as a hashtag, a general sentiment that how could anyone oppose that, right? The 90% of the people in the streets or the people that would tell a pollster, yeah, I support Black Lives Matter. They view it as just a sentiment, a movement, a solidarity against police brutality, caring about racial justice, things almost anyone would say are good. And, and whereas on the conservative side, uh, they've honed in on Black Lives Matter TM, the official organization that has chapters. And that organization is a Marxist organization. It literally says, tear down the nuclear family, destroy capitalism. And so what we have is this total mismatch and it, people failing to understand each other. On Fox News, they just say, Black Lives Matter is Marxist, and anyone who agrees with it wants to destroy the nuclear family. Sort of true, right? The organization is. And people unwittingly en masse and in corporate sponsorships donate to that organization because they just think it's oh just a good charity uh, when it's really quite a crazy group but then on the other side um, they don't actually most people don't even know about that group existing and they just think conservatives have this totally distorted view of what they mean by black lives matter so at the end of the day both sides just miss each other yeah like the the, the libertarian party is actually having this argument right now and you have you have both factions um, sort of represented and it's it's fascinating to me and, and my my view is like I, I think about the absurdity of arguing against the phrase black lives matter right because you're saying black lives don't matter is that is that really the argument and it, and it, it's it's a little bit of a rhetorical trap it that, is it's crafty that, that the that the Marxists will always put us in and and one of my whole missions in life is to take back uh, words that have been hijacked by people with agendas, and, and, and I'll focus on the left, the right does it as well, but um, the, the original reaction I had to Black Lives Matter, I've said this a thousand times, was the typical conservative um, slash libertarian take, which was, no, all, all lives matter. And I didn't understand what it meant until I had a chance to actually talk to uh, Black Lives Matter activists, and they explained to me that in the context of criminal justice, uh, black lives matter don't matter enough and that's what we mean when we say that but the the challenge that um, a lot of conservatives and some libertarians are falling into this trap is like we can't use the word liberal anymore which used to mean free mm -hmm. and responsible uh, we can't use the word community anymore because Barack Obama <laughs> was a community organizer we can't use the word justice because it's been corrupted by this 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 sort of weird notion of social justice we can't use democracy because because the other side uses those words but but honestly those are our words right um, community is our word it's not it's not a word that that the uh, black lives matter Marxists would want they don't they don't want they don't want bottom-up community they want top-down control so how do we how do we deal with the corruption of the language well, it takes people with the courage to just say it. So one thing that's really, I found my eyes just rolling in the back of my head during the last couple of months is when you have legislators on camera, Republican legislators and Democrats too, where they're asked, do Black Lives Matter? Will you say Black Lives Matter? And they say, it's very dramatic and it goes viral on Twitter. They say, all lives matter, right? And it's become like a, a Rorschach test for are you team red or team blue? Yeah. Where's the politician that's just willing to say to the reporter, of course, black lives matter. I support that sentiment. I oppose police brutality, but I also reject the official Black Lives Matter organization, 
which and I reject the Marxist hijacking of that movement that they have indeed attempted. Why can't someone just clearly say that distinction? Yeah. Instead of just beating their chest to their tribe and, and signaling, I'm with you. Yeah. And I and when I do it, I always try to define my terms after after I say something, because, you know, there's there's a debate um, within constitutional conservatives. You know, constitutional conservatives always say we're not a democracy, we're a republic. Right. And yet the, the notion of democracy is is very much um, a an important like universal value held certainly by Americans and, and maybe maybe most people globally. And so why would you give up the word democracy? Because when when we say democracy, we're not talking about the crude version of democracy where fifty plus one percent of the public get to do whatever they want to the other forty nine percent. That that's horrific and we've seen that play out in in places like Nazi Germany. But when I say democracy, I'm talking about pushing power all the way back as much as we can to the end user so that people are free to, to make choices and, and define their own lives. And and that, that certainly applies in the market. The market is just a big fat democracy where everybody's getting what they want because right. they're making choices and and no one's forced to do anything else they want. But but that like I think it's important to never get trapped into to making um, dumb arguments just to own the left. 